Question 1. Which of the following are models for perpendicular lines? So these are the questions. Number first, the adjacent edges of a tabletop. B. The lines of a railway track. C. The line segments forming the letter L. And last, the letter V. So here we have different models. The adjacent edges of a tabletop so these are the adjacent edges that is connected edges the next edges these form 90 degree angle so therefore they are perpendicular lines the lines of a railway track if you measure the distance between two straight edges of a railway track they will be same throughout so therefore they will make a parallel track therefore it is not a perpendicular lines C. The line segment forming the letter L. Here you can see one line segment is perpendicular to the other, that is, they are intersecting at 90 degrees. So therefore, they make perpendicular lines. D. The letter V. You can see here that they cross each other, therefore, they do not make a perpendicular lines. They are not. They are intersecting lines. Therefore, it was your question one. Second, let line segment PQ be the perpendicular to the line segment XY. Let EQ and XY intersect in the point A. Now, what is the measure of angle PAY? So, this is how we will do it. Here, we will take XY as a line segment and we will drop. PQ perpendicular to the line segment which will intersect this line segment XY at point A and it will form 90 degree angle therefore angle PAY matches 90 degree when it intersects at point A and the measure is 90 since it is perpendicular therefore this was your question second question third there are two set squares in your box that is in your geometry box what are the measures of the angles that are formed at their corners do they have any angle measure that is common so these are the set squares you can see in your geometry box they are of two types one is of 60 90 30 degrees and another is of twice 45 and 190 degree so you can see here that 90 is common in both the angles when you try to place them in similar orientation that is on 90 degrees so therefore you can see here both have 90 degrees is common rest of the angles are not common therefore the angle of the measure 90 degree that is right angle is common between them so this was your answer for third fourth study the diagram this is the diagram here the line l this is the line l the horizontal one is perpendicular to the line M. This is given to you, the M, which is perpendicular. Now, question is, is CE equal to EG? Well, we will look here that we'll first see where CE lies. So, this is your CE having two units, that is 3, 4, 5, that means two unit distance, and we will see EG. EG is again having two units distance, one second and they are bisected by a perpendicular m that will make third unit third. so therefore they are equal so this is true now the b part does ee -E bisect cg well what is the distance of cg first of all this is one two three four units all right one two three four so this line segment divides in half half that is two on each side that is cde and another one is efg therefore it is true c part identify any two line segments for which pe is perpendicular bisector well there are many line segments that can be formed namely bh is one of them then this is your bh then we can take df this is again and we name cg and again we can name as eh and many others as well therefore dot 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 represent many possibilities 
Now d part are these true? Is AC greater than FG line segments? Well, AC is of two units and FG is again of one unit. So it is true. Second, CD equal to GH. CD is one unit and here GH is also one unit. Therefore, these are indeed true. And third, BC is less than EH. BC, this is of one unit and EH is of one, two, three units. Therefore, yes, true. One is less than three. That was your fourth question.